Hey everybody, what's up? Lex here. And uh, today I've got an unboxing video for you. You probably already know by the title. Uh, I went and picked up a PlayStation Vita. Um, this is the newer Slim model. And I'm going to tell you all the details and all that good stuff. But the reason I went and picked this up, uh, a lot of people don't like the PlayStation Vita. And uh, I'm not sure if I like it yet, but... I did like all the games that I saw you guys showing off and I kind of got jealous so I had to get in on that good Vita action. So I'm going to unbox this and then maybe do a review somewhere down the line and uh, let you know what I think about it. Uh, but yeah, let's get this thing open. So here is the PlayStation Vita. This is the black newer model that I bought for $170 at GameStop and I'll show you the back here. Greatness awaits. We will definitely see about that. So, let me cut this thing open here with my trusty X-Acto knife. There's a tape seal here at the bottom. And it's a little tough to cut. I like to keep my boxes in good shape and keep them around. I don't know exactly why. It just seems to uh, clutter but open this flap here and then pull out the box so nothing fancy here just a normal white box with some barcodes on the side there's a latch over here just gonna pop that off there we go and here we go the inside contents of the PlayStation Vita. So what we have here looks like one piece of the charging cable, the piece that goes into the electrical socket in the wall, and then a little connector there. It's very similar to what you'd see on a PlayStation 2 or an Xbox console. And here we have what looks to be USB connectors, so a regular USB and a mini USB connector. And finally, we have our charging box right here that both of those cords plug into. So this is a three-piece charging unit, a little PlayStation symbol there, and there's a USB port. All right, here we have what looks to be a quick start guide. Let me unfold this here. It's all one page. It's pretty long. Now, the Vita actually has a startup guide inside the machine on software that you can use to figure all that out. This is just the same thing, but a uh, different language. And here we have the Vita manual, which I will put to the side and never ever read. Let's pop this off here. And here we go, the main event. Put that down just so that's not in the way. The PlayStation Vita. Let's slide it out of this very nice protective envelope thing. And there it is. PlayStation Vita. Very, very slick looking machine. I'm almost afraid to touch it because it's so shiny. And I tend to leave fingerprints on things that I touch, as we all do, but there's the back for you. Very nice. Touch pad on the back as well. And those little matte grips. Very nice analog sticks. Buttons click very nicely. So the PlayStation Vita, I gotta admit, is one of the best looking systems I've ever seen. Uh, it's it's really like a luxury machine. I mean, I almost don't want to take it out and about because it, it just looks so good. And honestly, I don't want to get it dirty. Definitely don't want to get it stolen. But but I guess that's what it's for. You gotta take it out and about. So the select and start buttons along with the right analog stick and right speaker, the four face buttons, all feel really, really good. 
The analog sticks could have a little more resistance from what I've seen so far, but I'll get to that in my review. There's the PlayStation button to bring you to the home screen, and up on the top we have the power button along with the slot where you would put the game, and I'll open that up here in just a bit. And of course the volume buttons there on the left. And the PlayStation camera on the back as well as one on the front. The nice matte grips for your fingers. On the bottom we have the charge port along with the headphone jack and right here is the memory card slot. So let's open up the memory card slot and show you exactly what it looks like. You just slide your proprietary Sony memory card in there. Pretty simple. Very, very sleek looking system, that's for sure. Very lightweight too, I'm surprised. Let's pop open the top. And this is where you would put your Vita games that come on a cartridge. Seal that right back up. It just has a little plastic hinge on it. And there it is. So let's uh, take a look now at the games and the memory card. We have Persona 4 Golden as well as a 4GB memory card. And to compare the size of these two, I'm going to put my thumb in frame here and just show you. The memory card's about as big as my thumbnail, and I don't have huge hands, so... And then, of course, the Vita game itself... It's about the size of my upper thumb above the knuckle there. So yeah, let's turn this thing on and uh, see it in action. The screen looks amazing. I know... I don't know if it can be really done any justice on, on camera here. We're gonna try, though. Uh, as one of my screen protectors goes in the frame. So let's start up Persona 4 Golden. And I'm also going to be... Uh, I'm going to be putting on the volume here, just so you guys can hear it. The screen just looks phenomenal. I mean... <laughs> The resolution on this movie right here is so fantastic. The colors are so vivid. Definitely Persona 4 Golden was a good example of showing the screen off. So there you have it, my unboxing of the PlayStation Vita Black Slim Edition. I got it for $170 at GameStop. So uh, I'm going to go play Persona 4 and I'll let you guys know in a few weeks what I think of the PlayStation Vita. Until then, subscribe to the page for more, like this video to share it around. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.